Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Pisces, this summer eclipses are the last set of eclipses in your critical axis of career and home which has been happening since mid of last year. These eclipses since mid of last year have been prompting fated shifts in your professional and personal life. This is your critical axis which since mid of last year has been activated for accelerated changes and shifts. We now reach a threshold of it after being in the process of it for a while. The new beginnings in your personal life and place of living in June would come through a series of encounters in the month of May and with some need for reconsiderations and renegotiations of either real estate or family discussions. It's coming in combination with a closure or release in your external identity which has outlived its purpose. It could be a career shift as well which could be coming with the lunar eclipse that's happening at the end of the May in your career house. All of this happens as Jupiter, your ruler and the planet ruling expansion and growth moves into your sign first time since 2010, expanding the very frame from which you look at your life. We have been waiting for these changes for a while and they have arrived. We are going to go deeper into all of this today Pisces. This is part 2 of the video. Please do review part 1 for which I will leave the link in the description along with the key dates of this month. My name is Charu and I am your host on this journey. So let's dig in. Pisces, we are moving towards eclipse season which would be activating your critical axis of home, family and career. So the balance of your career and your home and family is bound to come up. Before we get there fully in June, in May we would be working on communication, skills and possibly local commute or travel. This is going to be a very busy month for you with your communication houses in overdrive. We have a new moon in your house of communication on 11th of May, which could see you either initiating a new communication, media, advertisement link project or signing an agreement, taking short trips possibly to close by destinations. This new moon is going to activate and animate your mind. A lot of daily interactions come with this kind of new moon. Actively, you would be feeding your mind and feeling at ease in social interactions. Words flow smoothly and in your case, they're normally beautiful words. You are a practical and beautiful thinker who can create beauty with words and know just the right way to say them. And that's what we need in the month of May. It's a great time to express yourself and put your word out. You could also look to reskill because your mind is activated and ready to learn new things. You could look to reskill in commercial skill set, certain skill set, certain skill set that can add more value to you as learning would appeal to you. Reading, gathering information, speaking to people, exchanging ideas, connecting, especially with the local community and making use of opportunities in your image surroundings would be the focus. Since 2019, Uranus, the planet of sudden shifts and brilliance has entered your mind, your house of thinking and mind, which has activated a shift in your thought process. Uranus over here frees our mind. It changes the way we think. It gives us a detached clarity, which can be very unique. Making your perspective very, very unique, which people would be willing to look at and think about. Einstein had this aspect in his natal chart. It can make you feel very restless in your mind, but it also creates many Eureka moments with your mind thinking 
way ahead of the time and that's what we ne need and it could be that the reskilling you're doing is to equip yourself to handle those ahead of time ideas so you can express them well the 11th of may new moon gives you the opportunity to give physical form to some of those ahead of time ideas move around explore new things your thinking is non-linear. Share it with others. Short trips, if possible, can further activate new ideas and interesting interactions and connections. This is a much lighter energy in contrast to the end of April time when a bit of heavier, bigger vision and philosophical questions might have dominated your mind. In the month of May, Short courses, short trips, arts, talents which are expressed through voice or words, music, singing, writing, poetry, imaginative projects, beauty projects, advertisement, media, financial research are all productive use of this fresh infusion of energy into your mind. It will keep you busy and keep your phone ringing or your Twitter tweeting. Pisces rising, sun or moon around 21 degree or around 11th of March pawn can make best use of this energy. This is a positive energy for all of you but especially 21 degree Pisces or 11th of March pawn around Pisces sun would be specially supported in their communication endeavors and other endeavors of the mind that I just described. Only thing that blocks this self-expression is hidden fears and resolution of issues from the past. Saturn is in your house of isolation and in some ways it is giving you the discipline as well as the need to work behind the scene. It is also prompting you to resolve issues that lay below the surface. It's prompting you to clean house so as to speak. So you can move forward without any additional baggage and with some clarity in terms of where your talents and strengths lay. But in those moments of isolation and seclusion that Saturn in some ways is asking you to take, some call it mindfulness, you discover your most inspirational insights. It's a very different kind of Eureka moment. This conflict between wanting to make a difference in the outer world by connection and communication while needing your space and some seclusion for personal reflection is a key theme of 2021 for you. You would want to be up and about and there will be a lot of things taking and wanting your attention while that conflicts with your need to need to go into seclusion or need your own silent moment during the day. We spoke of it in detail in your 2021 video which you can review as this conflict will grow towards the end of the month as Saturn will stand still about to meet Uranus in a hard aspect on 14th of June. Your inner conflict and rebellion could get louder. I will leave the link in the description for you to review that to handle that effectively and be prepared for that. Moving forward, we have such a positive shift coming with Jupiter moving into your sign for the first time since 2010. This expands the very frame with which you look at your life. Because Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion, it supports opening up doors to growth. It eases our forward movement. We can be more than we have been for over a decade with this. You could look back at 2010 as to how this transit benefited you in the last time 
we would although see full benefits of this only in 2022 but we would see a brief preview from 13th of may to 28th of july when jupiter will be in your sign again i spoke of this in detail in march which you can review to see how to benefit the most from this now and in 2022 there is a reason i call that reading the renaissance it's a huge huge change in 2022 with both neptune and jupiter in your sign meeting together in april 2022 we'll see some benefits of that some ease coming from this transit between 13th of may to 28th of july towards the month end we have the last eclipse in your house of career on 26th of may if this all was not enough there is a lot more coming that is a huge huge shift both the eclipse that's happening on 26th of may and the solar eclipse in june is activating critical shifts in your chart and in your life they can bring up the focus on some sort of completion especially the 26th of may can bring about some shift in your position in your title in your work in your career how you show up as a leader Eclipses since mid of last year have been prompting both the balance between your personal and professional life as well as shift in the nature of work you do. Because there is a south node or a point of release focused in your house of career, you might need to shift how you look at career progression. North node or the point of progress and growth and move forward is in your house of personal foundations, your emotional grounding. And that has been the theme since mid of last year. North Node over here, through different eclipses, is trying to reinforce your emotional grounding. So you can shift how you show up as a leader as a career person on your own terms the question has been can your personal foundations support your social demands and who you want to become there could be a shift in your personal life which is expected with the professional change as the solar eclipse in june aims to start a new phase in your personal life, in your family life, in your place of living. This is the last set of eclipses for the next 19 years where North Node is focused on your home and family life, bringing significant forward-moving changes there. Through a series of fated encounters or epiphanies on 10th, 17th, 31st of May, we can expect this change to show up we are learning a lot about what you're made of and where you came from you would be learning a lot more about your family and your personal needs your inner needs what do you need to reinforce your foundations the safety the security the ground that you stand on and the road to success is to make sure that your personal life supports you you're required in some ways to focus more on your inner world versus the outer gratification or the outer world here so if your outer world is not serving your emotional foundations you might release those careers if it is not nourishing you if it is not adding to you if it's not growing you to move forward to what is more supportive to who you are fundamentally as I said, 2019 entrance of Uranus has shifted your thought process. You're perceiving life differently. So the life choices you make need to reflect that. And some of these very important life choices would come up, especially related to your personal life in May. As I mentioned in part one of this video, and podcast you got to follow your own personal honor code 
you've got to be true to yourself here in your life choices and that's where success comes from as your family and inner life is transforming your career choices will also change but first in my view in me there would be some ethical questions which will ask you to decide what is more true to you and basis the answers of those questions you would make both certain different personal and professional changes the 26th of may lunar eclipse which is happening in your career house is happening at 5 degrees it would bring those career choices to focus and it will bring you to focus in terms of your title what the world knows you as and what kind of a leader of your career and personal life you are this would be felt very strongly by pisces rising sun or moon around 5 degree or february born pisces sun then the 10th of june solar eclipse which is a new start a new beginning in your home family and place of living would be strongly felt by pisces rising sun or moon around 20 degree or around 10th of march born these are critical shifts and they would come with some reconsiderations especially in terms of where to live some real estate related questions which will go back and forth commercial discussions possibly related to home some family misunderstandings as well which could come to focus when mercury is retrograde between 28th of may to 22nd of june i would be careful on signing certain agreements especially related to property and family related but after 14th of may itself because they can come for review and edit when mercury goes retrograde between 28th of may to 22nd of june so pisces a lot of changes are afoot i would just say and close on one note it's okay to change your mind you are a different person now so your choices are going to be different and it's okay to change your mind good luck for that pisces and i'll see you in the next video now thank you